Hey, it's Jared with State of Tech. Have you ever wondered if any of those other brands making robot vacuums are any good? Well, this video is gonna be for you. This is a review of the Yeedy robot vacuum, and I've been using it for over a month, so I've got a lot of experience with this in my home, and I wanted to talk about how it operates and how it performs and really how it holds up over time. Uh-oh. What? People. <gasps> oh no, people. So this unit was sent to me. This is uh, a review, but it's not a paid review. So this is not sponsored in any way, but I did get sent this and uh, they didn't ask to see the video or anything like that. They just said, share your thoughts. So when I got this, I was impressed with the packaging. I thought, well, this is pretty well put together device. I get a lot of stuff that is from, you know, brands that just are putting out some random product. And I don't think Yeedy is that company. They seem to really have uh, everything well put together from their product to the packaging to also the app that operates the device. So this is the vacuum and it's very much familiar with a lot of the other robot vacuums that are out there. It has sensors all around it, a canister to collect all of the things that it picks up, a brush on the bottom, all of that good stuff. But I wanted to know how well is this thing going to navigate my house? Is it going to be able to make it back to its charging dock? How often is it going to get stuck or high centered on something and I'm going to have to go rescue it? I'm happy to say that very seldom did it have any issues. The first couple of times that it was navigating my home, keep in mind I'm a family of six and so I've got kids, we've got stuff sometimes all over the place and we do our best to pick up after everybody, but a lot of times there are things that are left around. And so this guy had a lot to navigate. It had a lot that it had to figure out its way around and not all the time was the terrain the same when it went back to do maybe the same path that it was used to doing before. So this vacuum did a pretty good job. I did have to rescue it two or three times out of over a month long of use. And the thing that was maybe slightly frustrating about this is that after you know we thought we did a good job at vacuuming our house, it always ended up having a full canister after going and doing its work. And I think it's because this gets to a lot of places that are very hard to get. Now, those under the furniture, under the bed spots that we typically don't get with our vacuum, a lot of dust and stuff collects under there. And if you have uh, pets in the home, uh, you know, people with longer hair, you're going to have a lot of that stuff collecting in random places. And this vacuum definitely picked up a lot of that stuff. Now, the number one thing that I was concerned with when I first got it was this massive camera in the top of it. I don't necessarily know what the camera is for other than uh, it being uh, to activate the the vacuum with the app. You hold a QR code over it and it connects, and I'm sure it's some sort of a sensor. My initial concern was that it's a camera that sends live video back to headquarters or whatnot, but I don't think that that's the case. I think it's just a, an additional sensor that helps it recognize where it's at and maps the home, because when you're watching the app, it actually does a pretty good job of mapping out a floor plan that uh, the the vacuum is, is navigating, and that helps it find its way around next time and so uh, while you know this is a camera or looks very much like a camera uh, it, it seems to act like a sensor like most of the other sensors around the vacuum so let's walk around this vacuum if we uh, open it up we've got the canister here and the canister pulls out with a nice little lever and it lifts right out it has a air filter built into it and then the canister is fed through this uh, side here you can see that I cleaned it out. I need to clean it out a little bit more. It looks like maybe something a little wet got in there. It has a door right here that opens up and allows you to access it to empty out. And you can see, like I said, it's been used. So setting the canister aside, we could see in here there's just a little bit of debris that didn't make its way all the way into the canister. The last time that I used this vacuum, it filled the canister completely and didn't have any more room. And so I need to go in and clean this out a little bit. It comes with a brush that also can uh, has a cutter utilized uh, at the end of it as well. And the cutter helps you get hair and stuff out of the, um, the scrubber or whatever you want to call it that uh, goes along the ground. And so um, I'm going to put the canister back in and um, I'll just put the scrub or this uh, 
this brush back for now, but you'll see that it's actually quite useful to utilize that to clean things out. So here's the bottom. It has kind of some all-terrain wheels that uh, have a lot of room to help it get over things like floor mats and stuff like that in your home. Um, this did get itself high centered on a floor mat once, but what happened was that floor mat had a big ripple in it and it got itself high centered on that big ripple. So that was more my fault than it was the vacuum. It has a scrub brush over here on the side for whisking things uh, off hard to reach places into the vacuum. And it has a quick release here that makes it very easy for you to get into the brush and pop that out and use the cutter to get hair and other stuff. You can see there's a few things that are wrapped around it. And it's actually done a pretty good job of not getting too gummed up. Um, and it's very easy to clean. I could pull, you know, the hair that's in the edge here just pops right out with a little bit of, uh, of help. <laughs> and so we've got that out of there. And, you know, vacuums are kind of gross things. I mean, you know, you're, you're going to have to clean out your vacuum quite often, um, whether it's a vacuum like this or it's a traditional upright vacuum that you, you utilize yourself. So stuff like this is going to have to be cleaned out, especially if you have pets in the home. Like I said earlier, people with longer hair. Um, so I think it's done a pretty good job of keeping itself from getting clogged up, having any real issues there. Um, there's other things that pop off on this vacuum, but you can see it's got sensors all the way around it. And like I said before, it does a good job of navigating itself around the home. Now, I've, as I've been talking, I've been showing you lots of video of it doing its work, finding its way home, stuff like that, so that you can see that it actually does perform. I think this vacuum is worth the money. Um, being that it's a brand that I'd never heard of before and potentially you haven't either, uh, I was skeptical and I think that this vacuum is well put together. I feel like this will last a very long time in my home, even considering the fact that it drives all over the place in my home, bumps into things because things get left out and is a vacuum, which notoriously is picking up lots of stuff that potentially could get it damaged. But it's done really good. I think it's a great product and I wouldn't be talking about it and showing it to you if I didn't think otherwise. And you could tell by the condition of its use after about 30 days. You know, there's some little things like this little sticker's a little loose here and it's been collecting hair, but I could just peel that right off because I don't really, it's, it's a, a sticker, a warning sticker of course, but I don't necessarily need it there. I could use a little bit of alcohol to get the rest of that stick off of the vacuum. Overall, the Yeedy Vac Max is, I think, a great buy and a great option if you're looking for a more cost-effective robot vacuum for your home. Keep in mind that this also does wet surfaces as well, and it comes with attachments that make it easy for you to turn it into a wet mop as well. So there's lots of things that you could do with this. Um, I'll put the link in the description below so you can check it out and get more info. I've primarily used it as a vacuum because I don't want to mess with the wet cleanup portion of it all. I just want it to go and get into those hard to reach places, get the dust, get the pet hair and the random stuff that is in those hard to reach places. So let me know what you think about this. Uh, this is definitely something different for this channel. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel on State of Tech, and I hope to see you back in another one soon. Take care.